completed board and an assortment of SMD components. Um, I'll start with the largest, which is this SOT23 transistor. So this is actually the same component as this part right under here. Um, so th this pick and place tool allows me to spin it around real easily, and then I have a push button over here. Um, it's kind of hard for me to show you, but this little button, so I push this button and it releases the component. So by default it has a little bit of suction going through this syringe and then when I push the button it, um, it actually puts out a little burst of air and releases the part. Over here is our second largest component. This is a 603 size surface mount resistor. And again I can push the button and release it. And then here we have a 402. So the 402 is actually the main component on this board. Um, right here is a 402 size resistor right under there. So let's see if I can place it next to it. So put it down there. Oh, put it down there and release the button. So now you see right, right here we have two side by side. This is the one I just put down. I'm gonna grab it back up, put it back over here. Um, the 603 is actually used over here. So that's a 603 size when you need a little bit higher current rating. And then here's a 201. So the 201 is a very small part. I, there aren't actually any on this board. We use them on some smaller boards, but they're a little bit uh, too finicky to do by hand. But your cell phone and those kind of devices all have the 0201 size. And I'll show a couple things on this board. Um, when I soldered it originally, one of the boards didn't quite reflow all the way on the right side of this IC, so I had to re-solder that. And there's also an, one error on this prototype. This is a first gen of this particular one, and this jumper while you notice here replaces a track that wasn't completed. Other than that, everything went pretty well on these boards. You can see all the really fine, this is the QFN package and TQFP. and all these uh, 0402 size resistors and capacitors. Here's an 805 capacitor because you need a larger size to actually get the required capacitance of 10 microfarads here. This is a 0.1 microfarad, so it's much smaller. It's a 402. And I think that's it.